Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be one of two Valentine's Day get ready with me this week and we're going to jump right in. So first off, I am taking Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee in my Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to be blending that all into the crease and it's just going to be a really nice light medium tone brown transition shade and then I'm going to be using the Visart palette which I did a whole review and collab with my lovely, lovely friend Liv Loves Her Makeup. So I will link all that down below so you can see our opinions on it and if we like this palette or whatnot but I wanted to show you guys the look I was wearing in that review so you could see how it all blends out and you know just how it looks when it comes together so this is what I'm doing and I'm using that kind of like cranberry red shade from the palette and guys I'm not editing too much out of this video today as far as like fast forwarding and things like that but I had to cut out some of the blending because it was like 15 minutes of blending and you can hear me kind of like talk about it in the review but this just takes a really long time to blend out so you just got to take your time and be patient and so I was using like a fluffy brush and now I'm going in with a more dense Morphe um, dome brush that way I can really pack in the color on that outer crease but it does take a really long time to blend out because as you can see the colors kind of just like stay wherever you first set your brush down so it takes a little while to just blend it all out but it does look really absolutely gorgeous once you do get it blend out so just stay focused and just keep on blending so next I'm going to be going in with another fluffy brush and just continuing to blend that out because I went in with the dome brush to be more precise and now I just want to try to you know blend it out a little bit more so that we don't have any harsh lines or things like that so now for the pop of color and the fun Valentine's Day look we're going to be going in with this NYX pigment and I'm sorry it's a little bit blurry but it's a really really pretty um, color I will leave it down below what the color ended up being because I can't think of it off the top of my head something with pink in the name though and definitely definitely use this product with the Mac fix plus or any kind of setting spray you may have laying around because do not use this dry it will get all over the place and it will not stick to your eyelid but as long as you use some kind of wet product with it it turns into this really beautiful foiled look and I love it and you get so much product in this little tube for like two bucks so it's a great price and I'm also putting it on the inner corner of my eye just as a little added pop of color and then with no additional product I'm going back in with that same fluffy brush which I will link down below and just blending that all out so we don't have any harsh lines and then I will go back in also again with that little dome brush and just pick up a tad bit more of that cranberry shade that way we can really deepen up the outer V and then now with a flat definer brush from MAC I will be going in with that same cranberry shade and lining our lower lash line and then with a small precision brush I'm going to go back in with that first original shade we used which was Makeup Greek makeup geek creme brulee and then just smoke that out and blend it all out nicely so that you just have a really pretty smoked out look on the bottom lashes moving on to our eyeliner i'm using one of my current favorites at the moment which was in my sample roulette a couple weeks ago and this is the sephora liquid eyeliner and this is really really nice i like the pen side of it I think you can have really nice control when you use it and it really glides on nicely and it does have like a glossy look to it but it does dry matte which I really really like and I've just been definitely enjoying this from Sephora and then for mascara I've been using the Marc Jacobs new Velvet Noir mascara and I was really skeptical at first I didn't really like it when I tried it also a couple weeks ago in my sample roulette but guys I'm in love with it so far. It reminds me so much of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I just really like how it really, really, really does lengthen and volumize my lashes. I didn't use it in this video, but my current way to use it is going in with the, uh, what is it, the L'Oreal Super Sizer first. So that way I can kind of comb through my eyelashes and spread them out. And then I go in with this really for the volume and the length. And so I've just been really, really enjoying that. So I'm doing two coats on the top part of it and then I will go in and put one little coat on the bottom lashes and you can see right there like there's always one little guy that loves to stick out and it's like get back in line with the other lashes it's always like that I have only on my right eye one little like sparse random little eyelash that likes to stick out that I've got to like put it back in line so moving on to our contour I'm going to be using the new Makeup Geek contour powder and I'm in the porcelain cool tone shade today and using my NARS Eda brush I'm going to contour the face you know the cheekbones the top of my forehead and underneath the jawline 
and I love this powder so much. It just blends out effortlessly and looks so natural and beautiful. I've also done a separate video and for a review and a demo on it and I will link that down below but I've been really really enjoying this and surprisingly I have been really enjoying the warm tone as well I did choose the cool tone for this look but I have really been enjoying both of those shades and feel like I can also pull off both shades really nicely so I'm so impressed with these powders they're ten dollars and they're just like a really amazing quality so 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 pigmented and seriously effortlessly like blend out effortlessly like it takes hardly any effort it's so easy peasy and you're done so I just really like how it looks and then I will go in back with that same brush we used to fluff all the color in our crease I've cleaned it off and then I'm taking a little bit of that contour shade and putting that on the bridge of my nose just to elongate it and make it you know a little bit more sleek and long and then I will do also a little bit underneath the lips which makes them look just a little bit more full moving on to our blush I'm using the Lorac buildable color source uh, blush in the shade cinematic and this is just a really pretty neutral like nude blush with a little bit of a peach undertone and it just looks super pretty because we're going with like a statement eye I wanted it to do just like a very neutral look everywhere else so I love these blushes so so much I did a whole review on those as well and I will link it down below and then I'm just taking a big duo fiber brush and just blending out the contour and the blush together and then going in with this up and up brush from Target I'm going to be taking this Dior Glowing uh, Gardens highlighter in the shade Nude and it's so pretty. I love this glowing nude and the camera is not even picking up how absolutely gorgeous this really is on the face. But you've seen it in tons of videos already and you can see my review as well on these when I swatch them because they're just so stunning. Absolutely my favorite highlighters at the moment. Might even be my favorite highlighters of life but we're going to put that on the tops of our cheeks down the bridge of our nose and then I also like to put it on our cupid's bow and just bring a little bit of life to that area and it just looks really pretty with this look so there you go you can see it glistening and glowing and it's just stunning like you go Dior like you are so good with these illuminators and then once my highlight is officially on fleek and done I'm going to be going in with the lips today and I'm using Max lipstick in the shade blankety and I love this lipstick so much it's just a very pretty nude color just like a standard nude for Mac you should have in your collection and then for lip gloss I'm gonna be going in with bite beauty and I am using the shade Rambutan and I love this lip gloss so much it's also got a very neutral nude undertone to it but then it's also got like the slightest coral or peach like undertone to it but it's really pretty on top of it I love the formula it's not too tacky but it's not too glossy and it's just really great so I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me for a kind of a dramatic Valentine's Day look using the Visart palette and then stay tuned on Friday for more of a daytime soft romantic look that I will be doing as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you guys very soon bye